What happens when a crazy engineer makes a Nerf Predator drone? Ren and Jan are co-workers at a creative studio, and for weeks Ren has endured daily Nerf ambushes from Jan. Every morning, like clockwork, Jan would pop out from behind a doorway and unload a barrage of foam darts at Ren, turning coffee breaks into full-blown Nerf wars. What began as light-hearted fun escalated into a relentless routine, and Ren finally decided he'd had enough of it. Ren knew he needed an edge. He tried fighting back with a nerf blaster of his own, but Jan's quick draw and crack aim always won out. Ren had a secret weapon Jan didn't count on. Outside these office skirmishes, Ren was also an engineer and gadget enthusiast. If he couldn't beat Jan on the ground, he'd outsmart him with air supremacy, and then finally, the inspiration struck. With determination and a hint of madness, Ren set out to create the ultimate nerf firing machine, the Nerf Drone. Jan at first was surprised, but his confidence didn't fade, and he made a promise to Ren that he would have taken down the drone with his axe. I want to pull off one of those, like, axe throws with the Nerf axe. I want to throw my Nerf axe and hit your drone out of the air in open combat. Ren accepted the challenge and poured all his energy into building his creation. In fact, he went so far as to ripping out the motorized firing mechanism of one of these realistic Nerf blasters that are so real that look and function like real AK-16s, with gun mechanics like shell ejaculation and full auto switches that you can find in this video's description to integrate it into the drone's chassis. <laughs> Ren also rigged up an auto-loading system so the drone could fire multiple rounds without needing a manual reload. This was no simple office gadget. It was a fully operational aerial nerf weapon, but not everything went according to plan. Why is this getting stuck? Of course, building a nerf attack drone was easier imagined than done. Early tests were rough. The added weight of the blaster made the drone wobble until Ren adjusted the balance. The firing mechanism jammed more than once, sending darts plopping to the floor instead of soaring at the target. There were moments of pure frustration. Ren would fix one problem only to have another pop up immediately. He spent about 80% of the project time troubleshooting issues and only 20% actually building. Despite the setbacks, each failure only strengthened Ren's resolve. Slowly but surely, his ridiculous idea was turning into a reality. And finally, Ren had a fully operational Nerf drone ready for combat. The moment of truth had arrived. They both climbed to the rooftop to finally start the final showdown. Ren stood on one side of the rooftop, drone buzzing above Jan, who held his Nerf axe and his blaster ready to strike the drone. When the duel began, darts flew instantly. Jan, desperate, swung the axe he had promised to use against Ren's drone, trying to bring it down. He went close, but couldn't quite make it. And then, finally, Ren hit him. The drone's speed and movements were too much for Jan. That missed every throw and every shot fired. Jan was frustrated after he lost, but both him and Ren were able to make peace and finally resolve. If you like this video, please let us know in the comments and share it with a friend. Subscribe to us for the best Nerf finds and Nerf-related videos.